Station Session. This time, it's Brewdog's Pumpkin King, 5.5% ABV. Uh, it's a, a Brewer logo on the cup. Uh, and what they say, Pumpkin King, we're turning Halloween inside out and upside down. Breathe in the pungent and heady mix of spicy caramel aromas and brace yourself for an inevitable, unloved and drowsy, unconscious gloop that will surely follow. Nope. A cacophony of bright citrus flavor uh, ensues. This is Pumpkin King and he's like no other pumpkin ale you've ever met. Spicy but zesty. Intense but light. Blow away the sleepy cobwebs and crank the monster mash up to it. Uh, put a twisted grin on your face and channel your inner weirdo. It's Halloween, but not as you know it. Okay, alright, so on the label, it's a pumpkin king. Right, and uh, they used this uh, label for a long time now. I think it's the third edition. First was Pumpkin Head, I think. Mm. Alright, so what else they say about this? Because th there's no uh, indication what they used actually to, to make it. So, uh, for malts, they used Extra Pale, Munich, Dark Crystal, and Amber. For hops, Magnum, Willamette, and First Gold. Uh, East. Uh, American Ale 2 and they also added Pumpkin Puree, Grains of Paradise, Star Anise, Cinnamon, Nutmeg, Allspice, Ginger and Clove. Ginger and Grains of Paradise. It's the same, actually it's the same family. Actually, it would be interesting to compare them, you know, in real life. Oh yes, it's very spicy. Sweet. Maybe some pumpkin even. Quite... Yeah, quite pleasant aroma. Okay, so we have amber color here. Or... Deep gold. Head, it's a little bit of color, uh, small and medium bubbles. Yeah, it's very spicy. You have <clears throat> um, lots of cinnamon, uh, lots of um, clove, ginger. <sighs> yes. Oh, let's step in. Oh, very spicy in a pleasant way. You have a um, multi backbone, and then you have um, those uh, spiciness all over. Different spices: clove, uh, anise, um, ginger. Lots of anise, actually. It's very nice, nicely mixed. Of clove, very pleasant. But still, um, it's uh, light enough to drink it easily. And you have nice bitterness as well. It's earthy. Mm, grassy type. I think the mm, most uh, going on top spice is anise in this beer. You can feel a little bit of graininess in it as well. Some toffee notes. I 
very pleasant actually very nice beer if you can try it right, so let's see if we will get some more aromas Yeah, a little bit whiny, to bit um <laughs> it's lots of spices, it, it's hard to say, you know, which one is you know more prominent. I think anise. <sighs> right. So here we have very nice nice Halloween beer. But uh, still, I'm looking for you know more spiciness. Uh, I mean, not spiciness, but uh, but hoppiness in it. And I think it's below the <coughs> spicy uh, spiciness level. Because so IBU is only twenty. I would find a little bit orange in it as well. Hmm. It's, it's not very even a, a zesty or oh maybe it, it is a orange zest. Anyway, it's very nice beer. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed this beer. Please like it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and cheers.